Good morning. Hi, Elsa. Sorry, I'm getting on here a little late. Time just got away from me. So I also I looked at the clock and I'm like, oh, I'm like four or five minutes late. I'm so sorry about that. So I got some, hi, Amanda. I got some great suggestions on my Instagram. Hi, Sonia. Sorry if you hear my dogs bark in the background. Hi, Cynthia. Hi, Amy. Um, hi, good morning. Hi, Bella. Um, so I got great suggestions from you guys on, hi, Anissa. <laughs> Sorry, okay. I have to say hi, Tristan, too. All my, all my people are on here. It's so nice to see you guys. So I got great suggestions on my Instagram and on YouTube because I did a poll. I asked what you guys want to see for this live. And I got so many great suggestions. And it's funny because I actually got a lot of suggestions to do um, like a makeup video related to how to prep your skin or how to wear makeup when it's hot. And um, you'll be so happy because actually that's what I filmed yesterday. I filmed an entire video. It's really in depth. It's all about how to wear your makeup, like tips on how to wear your makeup in summer when it's super hot and it's super humid. So if any of you are on right now and you had asked for that, for this video, for this live, you're going to be in luck because it's going to come up so soon. <clears throat> but instead what I landed on was summer makeup was a big request too. I got tons of summer makeup and I got a couple like new releases, like new release um, related uh, suggestions. So I'm gonna combine those two. I actually got a lot of like summer bronzy eye makeup suggestions too that I also loved. They were, I had so many great suggestions. Okay, long story short, I had so many great suggestions. So what I'm gonna do is like a fresh summer makeup look, like my style. So I say fresh, but I'm still gonna have a good amount of makeup on because I like makeup. But a summer makeup look using all new makeup to the best of my ability. I'm gonna try to keep it all new makeup, but um, there might be a couple things thrown in there that I just don't have new new ones of that I'll use. So without further ado, hi, Andrea. Oh, welcome. You're a first timer. I love it. I hope you don't think the lives are too chaotic. They can be a little chaotic because now I have two dogs and one is chewing on my headband right now. Um, but that's fine because it's going to keep him preoccupied. So my skin is prepped. And oh, Irene, where are you going? I'm sorry. I've such, I, I can't, I can't focus sometimes. I get so caught up with the comments. Um, okay, but let me get into it. I'm gonna do a new product that I just got. I just opened it up right now. I got this from, um, well, the brand is Iris and Romeo. I've never heard of them, but I'm excited to try this. It's called Weekend Skin. So it's kind of like fitting for this. Uh, Weekend Skin Warm Glow SPF 50 Vitamin C Plus Glow. It's a broad spectrum SPF 50 sunscreen. So it's tinted. And we're gonna try this together for the first time. So I'm assuming it's one shade. That's lame. I don't know for sure though. So maybe don't quote me. So I'm going to pop this on the top of my hand and show you what it looks like. It actually looks like it's gonna match me pretty well. So that's good. And let's apply it with just an old school Real Techniques buffing brush. All right. Okay. So it's, it's sheer. Might be a little too orange for me. Oh my God, Cynthia, what do you think? I hope you love everything. Cynthia got my Girlactic collab um, that's been out for a couple weeks now which is crazy, it's gone by so fast. You'll have to keep me posted. You have to tell me like, you know, if you had any difficulty using anything, just message me and I'll give you any tips you need. Hi, Stephanie. Oh my God, nice, okay. Okay, I definitely need more of this. I did one pump and that just covered, I mean, I guess it gave me some nice coverage. It's pretty. I feel like my skin looks a little rough right now. Let's do another pump and a half and see how far this takes me on the side. You may notice my brows are looking pretty rough. I have not finished them. I just put my e.l.f. brow wow or wow brow in my brows to start. So I'll be finishing them on this live. Thank you. So my jewelry, you know, I talk about this a lot. I know a lot of people miss it, but 
My jewelry has come kind of from all over, to be honest. Like I'm kind of a scavenger hunter. I go on a scavenger hunt when it comes to like jewelry. I, I go and buy from all kinds of different brands, like expensive, cheap, you name it, like costume jewelry, real jewelry. Like I like to mix it up, but um, I will film a video about my jewelry soon. I promise you. I just haven't had the time to do it yet because I have to get some other videos out that are like summer related first, if that makes sense. So those are kind of taking priority right now as far as like my upload schedule goes. Oh my God, welcome. It's 1.40 in Singapore. Oh my gosh. Well, I hope this, <laughs> I hope this doesn't keep you up too late. And Mitch is outside washing the cars right now. So he's not here to help me with questions at the moment. I'm sure he'll pop in at some point. Hi from Hungary, oh my gosh, Hungary, Montreal. Wow, so many people from all over. So what do we think of this? Kind of on the fence. By the way, this one is from, I get asked about this one a lot. This one actually, my friend Susan Yara gave me it. She bought like a huge bundle of them, like a big pack of them from off of Amazon. That's where this is from. And she didn't want the yellow one. I was like, I'll take it. <laughs> So she gave me the yellow one. It's like my favorite headband because it's so comfortable, but it's just off of Amazon. Okay, I did go back and get more of that tinted SPF because I just feel like I'm not happy yet with my complexion. I'm gonna run this over my eye. And I already have my sunscreen on underneath. I know this has SPF 50, but I had to put a ton of this on all over to get the same amount of protection, so. We're not really gonna rely on that SPF. It's gonna be like a nice little additional layer. Oh, you like my skin prep video? Okay, amazing. Thank you so much for that feedback. I'm so happy to hear that. I have a sad story about that video. And that sounds dramatic, but I, it is a, kind of a sad story because we, so I say we, cause Mitch uploads all my YouTube videos. I don't know how to do that. And um, he obviously like is, he is a tremendous help. So I just count on Mitch. Like he, he knows he's going to upload the video Friday night. So it posts uh, first thing on Saturday morning. That's when we always post. So long story short, we, it's like, I fell asleep on the couch at like till like one in the morning. So did he. So we get up, go to bed, like get actually get up and go to bed. And when we went to bed, the video only had 3% left to upload and then it was gonna be good. And it was, it's like scheduled to upload at a certain time, Saturday morning. So at 3%, you think, okay, we just assumed, well, he assumed I was asleep. So he assumed that it was gonna be fine. Like, you know, only at 3%, it's gonna upload, it's gonna be just fine. It wasn't. So the next morning I had to get up really early because I had work. While I tell the story, let me just put this on really quick. This is a new concealer that I'm testing out to see if I like it. It's from Make It Forever, it's the matte skin, matte velvet skin. I'm using this for a summer makeup look because I don't want my concealer to, in theory, melt off my face. So anyway, side note, he um, assumes it's gonna upload, it doesn't. I wake up at, I woke up at six yesterday for work, 6 a.m. Actually, I woke up at 5.45, but by the time I checked my YouTube, it was like six. And usually we post our videos on either 6 a.m. So that way East Coast time gets it at 9 a.m. <laughs> or we post at the latest 7 a.m., but it's usually six. So I didn't have any, I didn't wake up any, to any comments because usually I sit, I drink my coffee, I try to answer comments like as they're coming in and we didn't have any comments. And I thought, oh, that's, that's weird. Like this video should definitely be uploaded. So I check it, it's not uploaded, it's pending. And I thought, okay, well maybe Mitch just scheduled it for 7 a.m. And um, you know, that's, that's totally fine. So I get in my car, I go to, I leave my house at 7 a.m. to get to work that morning. So I, I don't think about it again. I just think like, okay, it's gonna go up, go up and it's gonna be fine. Well, a few hours into, or like an hour or two into work, I start getting these frantic texts from Mitch. He's like, oh my God, oh my God, the video didn't upload. Oh my God, like panicking, you know, just like that sinking feeling of what the hell. So the video didn't upload and it was something to do with our internet. Our internet is like kind of bad at times. It could be really bad. 
So it didn't upload and he's like panicked. I'm in the middle of doing a makeup application. So I'm like, I see the messages and I just kind of put my phone back down. I'm like, okay, I don't need that stress. Like I gotta focus on my client and getting her nice and ready for a shoot. And um, anyway, he was really upset. I was really upset too, because the thing is on Saturday morning, we get our most views on Saturday morning. It's just like, you can look up with YouTube. You kind of look up, you can look up um, like how, what hours and what days your audience is most on. So we try to post according to that so we can, everyone can see the video. Otherwise, you know, YouTube kind of hides videos unless it's um, doing well. It's kind of hard to explain. But anyway, so we, he goes to upload again and it's just frozen, like won't upload. So he has to redo the upload. It takes two hours to actually get it up. And at that point it gets up at like 10, I think it was uploaded yesterday, like 10, 30 AM, way past the window of when all of my amazing subscribers are typically on and watching my videos. So I missed, basically I missed like the biggest window of views for yesterday. So now, since that happens, YouTube kind of, I don't wanna say punishes you, that's a strong word, but if your video doesn't do perform well in the first hour, that means YouTube won't push it out to new people to like show new a new audience. So basically only uh, like 30, 20, 20, maybe 20% of my audience saw my video from yesterday. So that was really sad, <laughs> um, kind of a bummer. It definitely is a, a, a great video to check out and um, Mitch has been really bummed about it ever since. I don't blame him, honestly. So story time is done. I'm gonna go back to makeup. Thank you for listening to me. I had to just kind of get that off my chest because it was a really big bummer yesterday, you know? It's hard when you work really hard at something and you're really proud of something and then you see it, it doesn't do as well as it typically would. It's just, it's like, it's gut-wrenching. But anyway, on a lighter note, let's go back to some summer makeup and some new products. I really, really like this from Freck. This is the new um, sculpting bronzing stick. It's so cute and little. Like how cute is this little guy? It's like a little tiny guy. You can keep it in your pocket. Um, I wear the shade medium tan. It's not the best match for me, just FYI. I think I've talked about this, but I make it work. So I'm gonna apply it all over my cheek. Across my forehead. Oh, Jenny already worked out. I love it. I missed all, all but one of my Pilates classes this week because of um, just crazy changes in my schedule. So I have not worked out in a while. Hi from Germany. Hi. Oh, you're so sweet, Ashley. I love you guys for the support. I knew, I knew I could vent to you and like get that off my chest without like any judgment and all that stuff. So thank you, I feel so much better. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I feel so much better about it now that I've gotten it off my chest. But let's go back to blending this out. I think I wanna blend this out with an Angie Hot and Flashy, this like nice angled brush. This is a A507. So normally, you know, I don't like to directly apply um, my cream bronzers to my foundation, but this one goes on really easy and really smooth. It doesn't like rip apart the makeup that's underneath like most of them do. Without a brush. I know, I Grace, I feel the same way typically. Like I 100% agree with you. But this one goes on and blends out really, just really easy. So I've been playing with it. It's gonna look a little funky. Do I ever declutter my makeup? All the time. I, I donate to a lot of my friends, like makeup that's been used, that sounds a little nasty, I know. But makeup that's been lightly used, I'll either give away to my friends or my assistant or family members, like my sister takes hand-me-downs all the time and she loves it. It's like a little mini Christmas for her. She like loves it. Um, and then, but I do, I do declutter and I especially go through things that are old and that I think have expired. So yeah, I declutter a lot. And if there's things I get in PR that I just 
no color wise is not going to work for me it's not going to be great for my makeup kit i just keep those aside i keep them in the box don't touch them and then i donate those so there's always a lot of makeup shuffling going around out here chris i can't wait to get that bronzer video done to be honest because i have so many incredible new bronzers and i want to start putting them in my makeup kit and start using them like just in general, but I can't until that video is actually finished. But I did cheat, you guys. I'm cheating a little bit, and I did take this from my bronzer stash because I want to show you what it looks like on, and it's brand new. It's the Kosas Beat. Oh, it's the shade Beachy, but it's the Sun, the Sun Show. It's like a, a illuminating bronzer. So we're cheating today, and we're gonna try it out because I've just been dying to put that into my makeup routine. That pillowed a little bit, sunscreen. I'm so sorry if I'm missing questions, hold on. Ah, oh, you guys are so sweet. Should medium dark skin use bronzer? Totally. If you want to, if that's the look that you're going for, 100%. They make so many good deep tones and bronzers now, especially Fenty. I keep the darker, well, I keep a huge range of Fenty bronzers in general in my makeup kit. They just work phenomenal in my makeup kit. So big, big fan of those. Okay, let me grab one more thing that's new. And I love this on top of a full coverage concealer. Let me show you why. So this is the new Glowish by Huda Beauty. It's the Bright Light Sheer Concealer. So I've been wearing the shade 03 Light. Actually, this reminds me, I need to DM one of my followers back because she was asking me what my shade was in this because we have a very similar skin tone. So I need to DM you this, unless you're watching and you see what this, you see this video right now. But so this is just a very nice sheer formula concealer. So I like to layer it because this on its own isn't enough coverage for what I like under my eyes. Um, I'm using my phone for this video, by the way. I use my phone for all of my lives. Oh my God, Samantha, you're gonna love the Givenchy powder. Nice. Yeah, you guys, I have so many amazing bronzers coming up in that video. It's so exciting. Sabrina, I already have Vive as a full face written down as idea, an idea for a future video, so I can't wait to get that done. Vive is such a great brand. Must have, okay. Oh, Ma Maggie, I'm so happy you made it. So this is, in case you missed it, it's the Glowish by Huda Beauty. It's like the sheer brightening concealer. And don't worry, if you miss anything, I promise you it's all going to be, it will always all be listed below. So I'm going to tap it in. And then blend it out. Long lasting base for summer with drugstore, please, and full face of LYS. Oh, I love that idea. Actually, you'll be, in, you'll be so excited. I have the new LYS. I don't, actually don't know if it's new, but they just sent to me in PR. It's the LYS um, mascara that I'm gonna try for this video, so I cannot wait for that. Do you prefer the Tower 28 Tinted Moisturizer over the new Image one? I actually do, but they're very, very close. Like, they're so, I'd say they're like almost neck and neck in how I, much I like them. The only reason why I say the Tower 28 over the Image is because the Image looks so stunning, but it's a little bit hard for me because I have more oily skin and I, I just look really, really, really shiny with the image one, which is fine if I'm going for that look, but sometimes I just prefer a little more of like a, a semi satin finish with my tinted moisturizer. That's why I love my Tower 28, but they're both amazing. I'd say if you're debating between the two, if you have just based on your skin type, so if you have more oily skin, I would go for the Tower 28. If you have more dry skin, you're gonna freaking love the image because that is like hydration, it's like dewy, glowy, juicy, all the things. Lisa, I have so many favorite cream blushes, I, I can't even, I, I so many to name, honestly, but when I think about 
like what comes to my the top of my head initially is probably the West Atelier, the Persona Cosmetics, and I mean I love my Fenty ones. Yeah, those are the ones that come to mind first. But God, I have so many, so so many favorite cream blushes. I'm three year old. Is this okay? Hold on, Haley. Cystic acne. Thanks to PCOS. Oh no, lots of texture on your skin. Appreciate your skin prep video. Oh my God, I'm so happy. You watched it. Nancy, thank you so much. You're my favorite beauty guru. Can someone with yellow undertones wear cool colors? Totally, 100%. Just know that it might not be your most flattering tone on your skin tone or most flattering tones to wear on your skin tone. But absolutely, I have more, I have a warm olive undertone and I love cool tones on me. I think they're really fun. But do I look better in gold tones? Like. Traditionally speaking, yes. Okay. So I, I got this powder a little while ago and I, I don't know why I've been on the fence about trying it, but I've been, been getting asked a lot to try it from um, a lot of people on Instagram, especially. Also, I wish they didn't do this tape that doesn't come off. Like it's the kind of tape that just never fully comes off easy, but it's the new Makeup Forever loose powder. It's called HG Skin Twist and Light. I'm gonna test out the light one, but let me show you what it looks like. So it has all these different colors. It's very similar to like the Givenchy in that, ask, in that respect, right? Where it's got a melting pot of colors that mix together, but they're all generally very sheer. But this one is glowy. It's not like an actual setting powder where, yeah, okay, Bet says it's shimmery, be careful. I, same, I heard the same thing, so. We're gonna test it out. We're gonna see how we like it. So I'm gonna, what do you do here? You open it? Is it open already? Am I being an idiot? Oh, okay, hold on. I gotta figure this out. Oh, hold on. There we go. Hmm. Even when you shake it, not much is coming out. So get a little more aggressive here. Hmm. How the heck are you supposed to do this? Okay. It's like tiny little bits are coming out. That's it. Hmm. Where's the directions? <laughs> okay. Curious about this powder. So glad you're going to test it out. Well, if I can get some of it out, twist and the product comes out, I have. Okay, now it's coming out. Don't worry. Now it's made a mess. Okay, I'm gonna dig a little bit, but we're just gonna test it out. But actually, in the meantime, I need to set my under eyes. I'm gonna use the brightening, secret brightening powder from Laura Mercier just to set my under eyes really quick. That is not the easiest way to do that. I don't know why that was so hard to get the powder out of there. Maybe because there's so much powder in there. Not sure. Has anyone tried it? Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. Yeah, I don't love the Easy Bake Powder packaging either because of the, um, that netting. I just feel like it just, like, just builds up bacteria and stuff. So I'm not a big fan of that either. Okay, taking a little blending brush from BK Beauty and a small amount of powder in the cap. I'm gonna look up, push this under my eye. I'm gonna try to keep the powder on my eye a little bit lighter weight since this is a summer look. What is the best way to, to set your under eye for dry eyes? Well, if you have dry eyes, this is amazing, but for dry eye clients of mine, I absolutely, live for the Givenchy and less is more. If you have dry under eyes, you might not be able to do baking. Um, you, you're not going to want to do baking if you have dry under eyes, unless it's a very, very thin layer, but just think less is more. And it's all about finding the right powder and the right concealer combination for you. <laughs> have you tried the Laura Mercier foundation? It's called perfecting. I haven't yet. Um, 
I've had, I've heard mixed things about it, so I'm a little on the fence about trying it, to be honest. What do you rate BK Beauty brushes? Do I need them? 100%, yes. I have a code that's always in my, if you want it, I have a code that's in the description of most of my newer videos, because it's a newer code that I have just recently. Um, it's like Nikki 10 it's very easy to remember. But check it out. But I'd also would hold out for their sales because they have a lot of sales they, uh, uh, that I, I see anyway. Oh my God, Chris, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, wait, I missed your question. Qu Chris, will you just message me so I don't, I can answer that question that just went away. If you're not on Instagram and you're not following me, just send me a DM or request to send me a DM so I can answer that question, please. Okay, under eye, it's pretty darn set. So now we can go in with this powder that I'm very skeptical about, to be very honest. I think, I guess I'll use a brush to apply it. I haven't used this yet, so we're gonna test it out together. And they actually sent this big brush to go with it to apply it. It's the 160 straight and wavy brush from Makeup Forever. But what they actually tell you to do is to, the reason why they give you this long brush, this was through PR, is you're supposed to dip that long brush into the powder. I'm just not gonna do that again because in case I wanna put that in my makeup kit, which I kinda doubt, I don't wanna dip a dirty brush back into where all the powder's coming out of. I know, Chris, so we need Mitch for the questions. He's got so much stuff to catch up on. Trying to get our life in order for the week ahead. Very busy week ahead. Okay. Hmm. Doesn't really look like anything. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like that doesn't look like anything on my skin. All right. I mean, there's definitely shimmer. Hmm. Kind of just whatever, to be honest. And I love Makeup Forever, but this is not, nothing impressive at all. Okay, well, now we know. I'll play with it more. I just, I don't know. I'm not really, I'm not digging that at all. Yeah, just kind of feels like whatever, to be honest. Doesn't feel like a, I'm gonna be really mean. It kind of feels like a cheap makeup product to be honest. Hmm. Yeah, very unimpressed by that. Okay, so we need to get these brows fixed before I move on. We gotta get these brows fixed because they're looking really rough. I'm gonna grab my Patrick Ta Major Brow Pencil. I wear the shade Dark Brown and I'm gonna start to feather in my brows more. My stomach's gonna start growling. What's everyone up to today? Anyone working? Do you have the day off? Do you get to relax? I, I love peachy colors on all of skin tones, but I think ultimately you could wear I mean, you can wear whatever you want. It's gonna, it's gonna be what you wear it with, I think that's more important. But to answer your question, peachy, terracottas, I love those shades on all of skin tones. Okay, gonna finish these brows. Much better. And then I'm gonna clean them up in a second too. Reset and cleaning. Yeah, I gotta do that too. I have such an overwhelming amount of laundry ahead of me that I, um, I don't know what to do about it. I also need to clean all my makeup brushes for the week ahead. They're all, I mean, the majority of them are so dirty. So, cause I use them all throughout this week. So I have a huge, Huge amount of brushes I need to wash for, for work tomorrow and the rest of the week. And then I need to wash my own brushes too. 
And um, yeah, so it's gonna be a lot of cleaning today. Oh gosh, I'm missing a lot. I use Dawn dish soap to clean my brushes. It's been my go-to for years and years and years. It deep cleans, it's gentle. It's antibacterial, of course, because it's soap. And it just does the job, it does the trick. Okay, brows are better. I'm not having the best brow day, <laughs> I'll be honest. You know, do you ever have like days where your brows just, they don't look good, you know? That's, that's today for me, unfortunately. Okay, so let me grab my concealer one more time. I'm gonna grab this Makeup Forever Concealer one more time, take a little bit on the top of my hand, just like that. Yeah, Krista, you agree with the, the brow situation? It's just hard. There's good days with brows and then there's really bad days. And when it's a really bad day, it really sucks. <laughs> You're like, oh my God, I don't even know what to do about this. Okay. And then I have some more fun makeup from Fenty Beauty that I'm gonna pull out and do in a second. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that concealer and a small flat brush. <laughs> Just shade and clean up. I haven't tried the Veep concealer, but I want to so bad. So I need, I really need to place an order. When I picked up my Veep, like the few products I got from Veep when I was in London, I wish I got more stuff. I just, I was in a hurry. I was also working, so it's hard to pull myself out of being a makeup artist, like, like work-wise and go to being like a content creator and thinking of like what I want my full face of Veep makeup look to look like. So I just grabbed kind of whatever I, I first saw that like caught my eye, which was like a lipstick, lip liner, and the skin do. But I really need more products from them. Okay, I'm just cleaning that up, looking so much better. Travel location looks soon. Oh, that's a cute idea. I love that. So this concealer from Makeup Forever is actually very thick. But what I do like about it is it does not move. So I'm testing it out for a future video. And I didn't I don't love the color that I, I got. I, the color that I have or the shade that I'm using is which one did I get? 2.5. It's It runs so yellow, which bothers me. I don't like my concealer to be yellow. I like it to be more neutral and like kind of leaning on the pink side because I like that tone under my eyes. It just, it's, it looks really healthy and bright. Loma G, oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Favorite bl bronzer and blush, what application would you suggest for a rounder? I missed the last part of that question. I think it said for a rounder face shape. Well, you can use any brush to be quite honest, but this is gonna actually be a really easy brush for you know the face shape you're describing because it's gonna give you, it's gonna kind of guide you in kind of contouring your cheekbone area because it has that nice angle to it. But um, it's gonna be really like the placement of where you put your product that's gonna matter the most. But as far as brushes go, anything that's dense and going to like kind of like pack and blend a product into the skin is gonna be best. So like that brush, the 106 from BK Beauty is like my holy grail for cream bronzer and even cream blush. I think it's really user-friendly too. Okay. Okay, Asian, you have an Asian face with high cheekbones. Are you, so, but what's your question though? Are you, are you trying to, um, are you trying to contour? Are you trying to just warm up your skin and your, and your complexion with a bronzer? Send me a DM. If you're on Instagram and you follow me, send me a DM so I can better understand your question. I don't wanna just throw out a random answer that's not the right one for you. So if you can, 
either send me a DM or when this video is uploaded after it's finished, you can just leave the comment and I'll be able to actually go back to it and read it and send you a reply or reply there. And now we know why I don't do brows during videos. It takes me so long, but they look so much better. Oh, Melissa, I am so not surprised that BKBD 106 is sold out, to be honest. I'm, I'm not surprised, but I know, I know that they're working on restocking their most popular brushes. So I guess my best advice is just, just try to try to wait for it. It's worth the wait for sure. My mom is great. Thank you so much for asking. She's got a huge metal rod in her shoulder, but she's doing great. She's doing much better. She's doing physical therapy or like they make her do all these exercises and they move her around and she says it's really painful, but um, you know, she has to do it. So she wants to have full movement and use of her arm again. And so that's the only way to get there. So back to summer makeup. This kind of matches my tank top. This is from Fenty Beauty. They sent me all their new summer stuff recently. So I got their new, what are these called? Poutsicle. They're like a lip stain. You can also use them on your cheeks, I believe, but they're a lip stain and they're really pretty. So that's one of them. And then there's also, what is this one called? Gem and I, like Gem and I, that's cute. Very similar in, in colors, okay. So they also gave me this new, it's like the, kind of like the matchstick, but it's a blush. It's the matchstick strawberry pop. This is really cool because it's sheer. Like it doesn't, you can basically see, see through it. It's kind of like a see-through gel type formula. I saw a couple people using this and it looks really pretty. I was skeptical, I'm not gonna lie, when I first got it, but let me swatch it for you too. So it's very sheer. But it's supposed to some kind of technology where it you know adapts to your your skin temperature and it's adjust it's like a self adjusting um, something like that you know like where it's like the lipsticks where they adjust to your skin tone and your body temperature and they change I feel like it's the same idea but let's try it on I'm not gonna directly apply this to my face because I know this is gonna rip my makeup off so let's just try it like this first let's just give it a try. It's very sheer. So this is a 108 from BK Beauty. I'm gonna try to get a good amount. And then, oh, okay. All right, that's gonna work, great. pH adjustment or something. Thank you, Tristan. Tristan, come in and clutch, reading my mind when I'm trying to speak. All right, that's actually uh, very, very pigmented. Was clearly not expecting that. This is the joy of trying makeup together for the first time. <laughs> All right, we're gonna really buff this in. I'm basically just putting it all over my cheek area at this point. Hmm. It's definitely feeling like a stain. Like it went on, it's like gripped onto my skin and it's feeling more like a stain now. I'm gonna go back to my Real Techniques brush that I applied my tinted moisturizer with and just buff out the edges to blend it in. Oh, that's a great idea. I didn't know you could set your comments to slow-mo. I have no idea. My mind is blown. Okay, I will definitely have him do that. Thank you for that. Um, I didn't, oh, that's not the Om, the Oma Beauty Powder. Same packaging, by the way. But no, that's the Makeup Forever, the new one. Okay, that's pretty. Hmm. It's actually really pretty. Wow. That's cool. That's very different. Can anyone recommend a lip gloss with strong stain power? I feel like the Fenty ones stay on a decent amount of time, to be honest, but all glosses, they're just not meant to, it's not what they're formulated to do. They're just meant to give you a high shine and that's it. So no matter what, they kind of just, they're not gonna be the longest lasting. I know it's kind of an annoying answer, but I do feel like, because I use them in my makeup kit, I do feel like the Fenty Beauty ones do stay on a really long time, so. Let me show you what else I got to play with. I have 
the new lipsticks from BK Beauty that came out and we're gonna do a fun lip. We're gonna do, I think something bright. I think I'm gonna do beauty actually. This is beauty, let's check this guy out. I haven't used these yet. I've been sitting on a bunch of new makeup because I haven't had time to play with it. I've been working like crazy this week. So this is beauty. Let me swatch it. That's pretty, I think that's gonna work beautifully actually with this blush. Let's do this. That's gonna be really, really pretty. Okay. Let's do. And I'm also gonna do this eyeshadow palette pretty soon. This is so, so pretty. And I have a new eyeliner that I've been dying to use. So I wanna grab a nice neutral lip liner. I don't want it to be, I don't want it to be a bright color. I wanna just do something like nice and neutral. I think I'm gonna grab my go-to, my uh, Makeup Forever Anywhere Caffeine and line my lips real quick. But first, we're gonna do a little more of my Freck bronzing stick and just plump up my lips a little bit. The lip liner is sold out everywhere, I know. And the lipstick smell, you might, maybe it's, maybe you got, I don't know, maybe it's old? That's interesting. Mine doesn't smell at all. I know they're not scented. I just love this lip liner because it goes with so many of my lipsticks. And I use this in my makeup kit on clients almost daily. It's so good, right? Yeah, the Givenchy powder is bomb. Okay, lip liner is done. Now, I think for this look, the eyes are gonna be understated. It's gonna be summer. It's gonna be just like a nice, simple eye look. So that's why I'm saving them for the end because it's not gonna be a smoky, you know, like super blended and intricate eye. It's gonna be very, very simple. I want the cheeks and the lips to be the star of the show. So now I'm gonna go in with Beauty from BK Beauty. Wow. Oh my God, that's pretty. Let me bring you closer. Hold please. Okay. That's better. Yeah, mine isn't either. Mine's mine are probably like a year old at this point. Oh my god, Michaela, I'm so happy the Nutrium's working out for you. I just put on my my body lotion this morning. No, Sh um, Shania, I've heard that the Ulta blush or Ulta glosses, excuse me, are really good formulas. So that's a great, thank you for that suggestion. Okay, my lip is done. I like it, it's really pretty, but I need a little more powder. I just need a little bit of my go-to powder, to be honest. I'm gonna use some of my Cupcake Easy Bake Powder from Huda Beauty. <laughs> and a powder puff. I just wanna get this area. I don't like too much shine in this area of my face. Yeah, coffee lady, the body washes are amazing. I feel so weird calling you coffee lady, but I don't know what else to call you, but I like your name. Coffee lady is a cute profile name. The lip is so out of my comfort zone but I love it for that reason. I don't normally wear a lot of you know colors. I'll go for a red, I love reds, but you don't see me often wearing a pink, but this is ridiculously pretty. Yes, you do. If you need any suggestions, leave me a comment and ask me and I'll, I'll give you whatever you, whatever suggestions you need for Naturium. I do all their campaigns. I obviously work with the founder and the owner. Um, 
I know everyone behind the scenes at Naturium. So yeah, I may be biased, but I also have been using their products for so many years now that I just believe in them and I know that they freaking work. So I, I'm like, I basically work for the brand at this point because I, I work with them all the time. And if you see like their campaigns, like in Target or just online, I've, I've done their all like the natural no makeup makeup for all the campaigns. So anyway, I'm gonna go in now with this. I'm so excited to finish my face makeup with this. It's the Kosas, the Sun Show. It's like a luminizing bronzer. I'm gonna use the shade Beachy. Let me show you it up close. I, oh my God, that's amazing. I said your name right. Thank God, because that's like one of my biggest fears is if I don't know how to pronounce someone's name and I'm just reading it, I would rather not say your name than say it wrong. So I took a gamble today with that. Okay, I'm gonna apply it with a um, Morphe Ariel brush and just start at the top of my forehead. <laughs> Definitely change the chat saying the slow mode. This is too crazy. I know, that's a great suggestion. I promise you I will do it for next live. What is your favorite eyeshadow stick? I love the ones from Girlactic. I use them probably on a weekly, almost daily basis. Lynn Lynn, I'm going to definitely do a one and done eyeshadow look uh, makeup video for you for YouTube. It's coming up so soon, I promise you. This is so stunning, like so, so stunning. Very pigmented, so you wanna be very careful. That's why I applied it with a very, very fluffy brush so it goes on a little more soft and natural. But now you guys, I'm so excited because we're gonna do some eyeshadow. I'm gonna do a little base because I want my eyeshadow to not crease throughout the day. And since this is a summer makeup look, summer I feel like is a great time to utilize an eyeshadow primer so you don't have, like when you're hot and you're sweating, you don't want your eyeshadow to start creasing and getting all, you know, all messed up. So an eyeshadow base is a great way to go. Tickle and Charlie, oh my God, thank you. Your name and the dog, oh my God, that is so sweet. What was your question? Okay, I need a, I need a, I need you guys to ask me these questions again since Mitch is not here. Just ask me again in the comments after this video is uploaded. I promise you, I will look at them and answer you. So if I missed any, any hard hitters that you need answers to, just after this is uploaded, ask me again in the comments. I will 100% see it. All right. So, you got my collab. I feel like I have a collab and I think the shadow stick is my favorite thing. Maria, I'm telling you that shadow stick is like life. It's my go-to, it's so, so easy. Okay. The eyeshadow primer, by the way, is from Rare Beauty. They only make one shade. It's pretty sheer, but um, I've been liking it because it's nice and thin. So I'm gonna grab a Makeup by Mario blending brush and I'm gonna dip into this soft peachy shade right here. And just tap a little bit in the outer corner of my eye. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. You're so sweet. Oh, I'm hair around my face. Do I have a hair around my face? I don't see it. Between the Huda Beauty powders and the Givenchy Prismate Libre powder, what would you choose? Well, what's your skin type, Michaela? And where do you want to use it the most? I, I would say base it on that. So let's say it's the, let's say you're oily and you want to use it kind of in your T-zone and all over and you want to help a lot with um, like shine control throughout the day then I say Huda Beauty. If you have more dry skin and you just want a nice, very thin and lightweight feeling setting powder that also blurs and smooths, then I would go for the Givenchy. You're dry, Michaela, then I would go for the Givenchy. You just cannot go wrong. But they're both amazing. I, I still use the Huda Beauty even on drier clients, but my go-to for a dry skin type is definitely the Givenchy. Elizabeth, I have a lot of favorite setting sprays, to be quite honest. The Airbrush Flawless setting spray from um, Charlotte Tilbury is one of my holy grails, but also I love, love the Hourglass Veil setting spray. I use that in my makeup kit and my clients love it. 
Hi, Angela. Thanks for joining. No, it's not one size. This is actually from LH Cosmetics. Linda Hallberg is her name. She's very, very famous. She's a very famous makeup artist who I've actually followed for years and I didn't realize she had a makeup line until they were kind enough to send me this in PR and I've been obsessed with this palette ever since. Like, it is so gorgeous. So the palette is the, the new Golden 20s. This is the palette from LH Cosmetics. But formula-wise, the formulas are phenomenal in here. And I promise you, it will be listed in the description, so don't worry. So I'm just layering the soft pinky peach while I answer questions. <laughs> Um, just a pore filling primer. You know, I don't use a lot of pore filling primers. The pore professional from Benefit is decent, but it's, it's not one of my go-tos. Um, to be honest, I don't have a favorite pore filling primer at the moment. I'd have to get back to you on that. Okay. The Charlotte Tilbury does leave a little bit of a film, but it's, it's basically, it's locking, it's locking your makeup in. It's doing a really good job of locking your makeup in. It's not going to feel like water on your skin. And yes, that's Linda Halberg's makeup line. I don't know why I put this down like I was done. I'm not done. So for this look, I want to do just very, very simple. So I think I'm going to do, let's do, let's do a little bit of this. Let's keep it like just bright and pretty. Yeah, I want the new LH palette too. The um, like the gray tone, the cool tone, smoky one, looks really pretty. I actually have an affordable setting spray that I'm going to use for this tutorial. It's the Elf one. I think it's great. Okay, let me finish this eye. Nate, the triangle puffs are life. They, I just, I literally am just going to restock my, once my makeup kit, I go, I stock up, you know, well, basically once a month, once every two months, um, cause I give them away to a lot of my clients, but they're just a game changer. So I'm putting this all on my fingertip. This formula goes on great. Like all these formulas go on great with a brush or with your fingers. So it's kind of, it's just really easy to use. They're very pigmented. Melinda, your cat stole your powder puff. That's hilarious. Um, it's just like my dogs now are stealing little things like makeup wise from my studio. And I caught one of my dogs, Tomas. He's like one of my little white chihuahuas. He loves to get new packages. So I have this bin of new makeup that's underneath my, my makeup table where I shoot my YouTube videos. And I, he didn't show any interest in it at first. And then all of a sudden he like ran off with a color pop lip gloss and he just wanted to rip it out of the package. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to let you rip it out of the package just this one time. But now he's hooked on it because I let him do it once. He didn't ruin the lip gloss or anything. The lip, lip gloss was totally fine. But anyway, long story short, it was, he's addicted to taking, like sneaking off with new makeup items and going in another room and like ripping them apart, the package. Okay, I'm just taking a little bit of these two just to add some depth and dimension. Try to keep my chin up. Just add that little bit of a smoke, just for the depth. I cannot believe it's already 55 minutes into this live and where did the time go? It's just so weird. These lives go by in the blink of an eye. But next time, that suggestion about Putting my comments in slow mo is a game is going to be a game changer. I just know it. So thank you so much for that. I know. I'm sorry. I'll tell Mitch you missed him. I don't think he realizes he 
he's a, a part of the lives. How dare he wash the cars on Sunday and do, do his thing, you know? He should be sitting with us, talking about makeup, and hanging out, and helping, helping with the questions, because now I've missed so many. It's, it's very sad, and I'm so sorry about that. Okay, I have a new eyeliner I wanna show you guys. I don't know if I have showed you this yet. If I have, please forgive me, but it's still new to me. I'm still testing it out and trying it out. I've only used it like I think three times max, but it's the Urban Decay 24 seven inks liner. I got the shade Whiskey and Whiskey is like a, just basically a really rich dark brown. So I need a mirror for this because I wanna make sure it's nice and thin. LH Cosmetics has some great lipsticks that I've been trying, um, just to answer your question. But I'm still testing more stuff from the brand. They sent me a whole really generous PR box, so they're incredibly sweet for doing that. Like, they sent me so many great things I still need to get around to trying, so I'll keep you posted. But it'd be fun to do a full face of LH Cosmetics. So this liner goes on so easy. And I actually really like this. It's almost like a little comfortable cushion. You know, it's like when you're in school and you had like the cushiony things to put on your pencil. It reminds me of that. Hold on, I promise to answer questions soon. Hmm. Pretty. Okay, eyeliner's on, just nice. It's a little simple baby wing. I really like this blush from Fenty. I'm gonna definitely use this more in my makeup looks. Okay, so now we're gonna go on to mascara. It's the LYS mascara. I don't know what this mascara is actually called, but let me show you how cute this box was. You open it like that. How cool. So it's get, wait, what is it called? Lash Confidence. So it's called Lash Confidence um, Curl Length Volume. It's a clean mascara. I really like this brand. Like they have some just really great quality products. Definitely plan on doing a full face of LOA soon. I promise you. This is the packaging. Look how pretty that is. That is gorgeous. Wow. I almost don't want to use it because I don't want to dip into a new mascara, but I really want to show you guys. We'll, we'll see together what it looks like on. Let me grab my mirror one more time. Okay, I like the curved wand too. It's kind of cool. Okay, it's very wet. It's not like a creamy texture, you know? It's like a wet formula where you have to be a little more careful. Hmm, it's pretty. I can't tell if I love the wand or if I'm having a hard time with it. Actually, no, I think I love the wand. Really pretty. Oh, good luck going back to work. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And don't worry, it's gonna be uploaded.
Very pretty. It's like a good straightforward mascara. I didn't curl my lashes before this video like I normally do or normally I curl them during a live. But that gave me a lot of lift actually. That gave me a ton of lift now that I'm looking at it. That feels like I, it looks like I curled my lashes when I actually did not. Yes, it is. And female owned, which is kick ass. I'm, I'm all about, I'm here to support all the female owned makeup brands, like all of them. Okay, what was the last thing I was gonna do? Was one more thing I was gonna do. Hmm. Actually, you know what? I do wanna put this on my bottom lash line. Even though it's a summer makeup look and I, I really do think that if you avoid mascara on your bottom lashes during the summer, it's gonna save you a lot of heartache and um, annoyance because no matter what, when you're sweating in summertime, even if your under eye is properly set, like mine's pretty properly set right now, it's still, you're gonna get that transfer. Even if you're using a waterproof, I've just discovered this with like working on set and work with clients and when we're shooting outside, even the waterproof mascara is gonna to run to some degree. So I say avoid it if it's really a hot day and it's you're in summertime. But since it's not really hot in LA today, we're gonna to do it. Very pretty. Wow. I'm obsessed with this lip. I'm gonna put a little bit more of beauty on because I feel like it needs a touch up at this point. That's so pretty and I don't like pinks on me ever. That's crazy. You're gonna wanna do a color corrector first and then put a concealer on top. That's gonna be the best way to, if you're trying to cover hyperpigmentation, one concealer is not really gonna do the trick. You're gonna wanna color correct that. Um, that pigmentation and then go in with a concealer. So that's the lip. That lip is ridiculous. I'm so happy about that lip. The eye is nice and simple. It's just like a nice light golden hue, a little smokiness on the outer corner. The blush is really pretty. I wish that tinted moisturizer had covered up these two pimples that are going away, but it didn't and that's fine because it's a nice fresh skin kind of look. I think everything's really pretty. I really like everything I tried today, but I think my two standouts are definitely these. And I already know I love this palette because I've been using it, but I promise to create more looks with this palette. I filmed one already for my Instagram, just like to post in reels. So that'll be up soon, as soon as we can get it edited. But I'm gonna set my makeup, so hold please while I just shake this. This is the e.l.f. Cosmetics Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist. Really, really good, super inexpensive setting spray. So if you're looking for one, I'm gonna test the spray really quick. This is a great one. But you know why I love it the most, honestly? It has the most fine mist. It's not like a hard spray where it really messes up your makeup. It's like a nice fine mist. So it's it's just easy to, to work with. Let me get this little mascara flake off. Ooh. Ooh. See, I shouldn't have done it. Oh. It looks like Mitch is coming in. Guys, come on. Come on. But that's the finished look. Come here. Come say hi. Come say hi. Come on. Tomas, say goodbye. Say goodbye. Thank you all for joining me. I hope you have a great rest of your Sunday. And uh, for those who are going back to work right now, I saw the comments. I hope you have a great rest of your day at work. And hopefully you get to enjoy the rest of your Sunday when you're done. But say goodbye, Tomas. Bear is down below. He's just, he's shy. He just, I can't get him. But thank you so much for joining me. I hope you like this look. I'll link, I won't link, but I'll list everything that I used for this summer makeup look using all new makeup. Everything will be listed in the description box. And if I missed any of your questions that you really want to answer to, don't forget to just leave me your question one more time in the comments of this saved video. And I promise you I'll be able to go through them and... I'll be able to answer them throughout the day and even like throughout next week. So if I missed it, I'm so sorry, but be patient and just ask me again and I promise to get to it. Okay, say goodbye.
Hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for joining. Bye.